Hello, I'm Bradley and welcome to my channel. Today's topic which I really want to cover is a sensitive scalp and that of course can affect anybody at any stage and it can just appear for a number of different reasons. For example, for me, sometimes that can be something just as simple as too much going on at one time, sort of it can be stress, it can be using too many products on your scalp, or for example, if you cause sort of trauma to your scalp, so such as, for example, if you've sort of, I don't know, if you might have knocked, knocked your head, or for example, if you've used, I don't know, like a heated appliance and you've caught your sort of scalp, it can happen for a number of reasons. Sometimes, of course, this can come out quickly or it can come out sort of over a slow process and get worse, particularly if you don't try and control the problem. Going back to me, I very often get a very sore neck at the bottom here, and this is due to a wired hearing aid system which I'm having to wear, and I have worn on and off for a while. At the moment, I'm waiting for a repair on my new hearing aids, which sounds quite strange, but unfortunately there was a problem with the technology which kept switching itself off. I've had a recent appointment, and I'm awaiting a new set, but for now I'm gone back, I've, I have gone back to my old traditional sort of cross system hearing aids which if you've watched some of my videos on my channel you'll know that I've really really liked them so it's not a bad thing going back but this wire as you can see here does flare the bottom of my neck up and my hair so for me it's sort of still part of my scalp and towards the back of my head I very sometimes can get quite a sensitive quite not anguish um, not sort of like redness but it can just be quite tender and quite sore another thing what can happen to me which is uh, very often, if I'm wearing that nice slick back style with lots of gel and lots of spray, very often that can really dry my scalp out and cause some quite sensitive issues and quite sore at times. I have also mentioned that you can cause trauma to your scalp. Now, I remember when I ever first picked up a pair of straighteners, which actually wasn't that long ago, um, and I remember going to straighten my fringe, and I've never really used them, so I didn't have too much experience with them at all, and I burnt the front of my scalp between my hair that was probably the most uncomfortable thing I've ever had on my scalp and that was sore because of every hair product every spray it sort of gets in and breaks up and makes it even more uncomfortable so what do you do if you get a sensitive scalp of course it can happen for a number of reasons like what we've said but for me I just want to go through a few products which I use and hopefully if you can take away uh, sort of some good notions from what we're going through and some of the products which I'm just about to cover, then fantastic. So for me, one of my favorite product ranges, if I've got a bit of a sensitive scalp or I even just have that sort of, I'm um, going for a bit of a stage where, for example, I may have used too many hair products on my hair and my scalp's getting a bit stressed, a bit anguishy, a bit sore, or even just tender like the back of my neck from this wire here, I like to use a range which is by Garnier and this is the Ultimate Blends. So the two range here, there's two items in the range and there's also a spray which is for styling and heat spray which I have used in the past and it's a cotton milk spray I believe and it's really soothing and it really helps style the hair. So first of all though let's just go into the shampoo. So the shampoo in the range is by Garnier's Ultimate Blend Shampoo and this one here is the Delicate Suva, Delicate Oak oat rather sorry and it's rice cream and oat milk and this is soothes scalp nourishes softens and protects hair and this is naturally derived uh, ingredients tested on sensitive scalps and it's for sensitive scalp and fragile hair so just going into a little bit more detail on the back here find comfort for your sensitive scalp with our tender touch rice cream famous for its softening properties and oat milk a known soothing ingredient blended with love and delicately scented deeply comforting formula that calms the feeling of itchiness and nourishes fragile hair, leaving it feeling blissfully soft, gently does it. And you know, I've used this on and off for a while, um, and it's something which every couple of months I tend to come back to if I've got a bit of a stress, sort of sensitive scalp. I never actually get sort of an itchy scalp or anything at all because that's slightly different, sort of we're not concentrating on dandruff here, uh, we're concentrating on if you've got that real stress, that sensitive, um, kind of tender scalp, almost where your scalp's had a bit bit too much and it needs that break these products are really really good for that so just going back in after the shampoo then the conditioner is a really really great uh, product to follow and here it's again by Garnier it's ultimate blends the conditioner it's the delicate suva and it's delicate oat and it's rice cream and oat milk and again it's for sensitive scalp and fragile hair and just going into a little bit more detail in the back here so smooth generously into wet hair and rinse thoroughly use after shampoo for intense care indulge in one of their treatments now with this range you can get sort of uh, treatment which comes in sort of like pots which almost look like moisturizer cream I haven't actually myself used those but if you wanted 
to try that yourself there is one in the sensitive range and sometimes I, I have noticed I don't believe you can buy that in stores and supermarkets now I think there has been a recent change in the brand because it's been out for a little while now and you can find that though certainly on Amazon for a cheaper cost with a much more bigger sort of quantity but for me if I get a really sensitive and scalp uh, sensitive scalp or sort of I want to look after my scalp a bit more if it's a bit tender around my neck here that shampoo conditioner range is a fantastic product which I go in with very very often and after this I always find particularly use the shampoo first of all it's really moisturizing and it's really sort of takes care of your scalp and then the conditioner really almost moisturizes your hair and it sort of soothes and settles down your scalp which is really really what you need once your scalp's a little bit stressed and a bit tender um, you might even want to just look after your hair a little bit more. Uh, for example, if you use styling appliances in your hair all the time and use a lot of products, the Sensitive Shampoo Conditioner from the Garnier uh, Ultimate Blends range is really, really good just for looking after your hair. I did touch very quickly on the spray. They have a spray also in the range, which is a styling spray, and that's for heat protection, but it also looks after the scalp as well. And I believe it has the oat cream and the rice milk in there. And just, sorry, rice cream and oat milk has in there as well. So it's a really lovely range and it's a range which I keep coming back to every couple of months and have used that for a couple of years now. Moving on ever so slightly, there's another sensitive range product which I use. Now this is predominantly if I'm having a real tough time with the back of my neck. Now I tend to get two patches, one either side, uh, just lower down from my ear here. But where you have the hair there, it really gets quite sore, quite tender and quite stressed. So what I use then, if that flares up and I'm finding that the Garnier shampoo and conditioner range isn't really enough for me, what I then do, because that's quite a rich product, and sometimes if that's not enough, then stripping it right back to something something quite simple and sensitive. And there I've just touched on it. It's the simple range. And this, very often, I turn to. So if I don't use the Garnier Ultimate Blends uh, Delicate Soother range, I then use this. So if I'm going through that time when my scalp's a little bit sensitive, a little bit tender, these are the two product ranges which I come in between. Now lately I have been jumping between the two because I've gone back to this hearing aid here and very often I do use this and I leave the conditioner from each of the ranges um, if I'm using whichever range I'm using the conditioner I leave in my hair just to sort of calm down the back of my neck um, and if I have a bit of a stressed scalp and it really really does work. So just going to this range very quickly so the shampoo this is a really, really nice, it's really gentle, it doesn't have a smell, it doesn't have any unnecessary products in it at all. So it's Kind to Hair Gentle Care Shampoo, and this is by the Sensitive Skin Experts of Simple. So it's got one vitamin, two hair-loving ingredients, and no artificial perfume or colourings. So it's got Pro Vitamin 5, of course, which is really, really good for hair, that softness, that sleekness as well. So going on the back here, so the vitamin is the Pro Vitamin B5, the hair-loving ingredients is Cure... Camellia oil and no, sorry, calamine oil and glycerine, and there's no harsh chemicals that can upset your hair or scalp, no artificial colorings or perfumes, and no animal derived ingredients. Dermatologically tested and approved. The best results lather up gentle cleansing shampoo for mass uh, by gently massaging into hair and scalp. Rinse thoroughly and repeat as necessary. Follow up with our gentle care conditioner. So, it's a really nice product. It doesn't have any sort of smell. It's just really, really gentle. It's really, really soothing. And it's really moisturizing on the hair as well. So it's really, really nice. Then straight after, I go in with the conditioner. And for the conditioner, again, it's got one hair vitamin, but this time three hair loving ingredients rather than opposed to the two in the shampoo and no artificial perfumes or colorings. And again, this is got with Pro Vitamin B5. So on the back here, the vitamin is Pro Vitamin B5. Hair loving ingredients, bear with me for reading this, is the calendula and alatione. You might want to check that out. You might want to check that out. But it's hair loving ingredients all the same. And I have used the products and I know they're very, very good for my scalp. And then finally, no harsh chemicals. So you know there's no sort of nasty chemicals in here as well. One thing which did surprise me with this is when you look down in the ingredients on the shampoo this is, you can see sodium lithium sulfate. Now I'm always, if I'm having a sensitive scalp, I always question why on earth does a sensitive shampoo have sodium lithium sulfate in that? And that is a product which is put into shampoos and products uh, for that lava and that real instant intense sort of um, foam, which you, of course, that really luxurious feeling when you're rubbing into your scalp. So I was a little bit unsure on this, but however, after using it, 
even though it's got that in, it does soothe and settle down my scalp. If I'm finding that it's not enough, what I then do is I come in with the simple moisturizer and this is light. They have a rich and they have a light. This is hydrating light moisturizer, 12 hour moisturization, kind to skin by simple. And just on the top it was the number one UK facial skincare brand, our kindest ever. So I believe that was based on the 12 month period up until November 2017. So just on the back here, it has got with pro-vitamin uh, B5, vitamin E, glycerine and borage seed oil. Our hydrating light moisturiser is carefully crafted with multivitamins and is our purest skin loving ingredients to keep skin moisturised and pampered for 12 hours. So I use this on the back of my neck. So if my neck's really really inflamed up, very often even if I'm using the range from the Garnier Ultimate Blends, very often what I do is I'll then come in with a little bit of this and then just really really rub that through on the back of my uh, neck here where sort of the hair goes a bit finer at the bottom of the neck here. That's where I get a lot of my problems with sensitive scalp and I go in with a small amount of this then that's usually when I go to bed and then by the morning it's a lot more comfortable and it's a lot more soothed to start the day again which is brilliant so that was my sensitive collection so just running through it very quickly again so you've got the ultimate blends the delicate super conditioner the shampoo really would recommend that very often they're on offer two pounds each at any good supermarkets I do know because it's been on the market now for a couple of years it's getting increasingly more difficult to buy but however I still find that you can still buy that online and you can still buy that on Amazon as well for larger packs for cheaper uh, for a cheaper cost as well um, the simple shampoo conditioner you can still buy this in most good stores and you can certainly buy it in Superdrug boots and you can buy this in tesco's as well and certainly online for a cheaper cost and a larger quantity so very often as i have said i go in between these two product ranges certainly if i'm suffering with a stressed tender sort of sore horrible sort of sensation which your scalp is tight um, as I say, it's not necessarily itchy for me, but sometimes it can get tight, sort of tender and quite sore, particularly on the bottom of my neck, which can get quite uncomfortable as well. But with these products, they really, really do help. Cost wise on the simple shampoo conditioner, I believe that's usually around about the £2.50 mark. But however, having said that, I know I have recently bought it for an offer of two for £3 in Tesco's. But these are really great products and the moisturiser, I think that usually sits at around between £3 and £5. Please don't quote me on that, have a look yourselves. But I actually bought this in Tesco's as well, but it's certainly even nice just all over your face if you're having a real sort of uh, sort of stressed skin or if you've got a breakout on your skin or if you suffer with sort of acne it's a light moisturizer and I do find I can't comment sort of on if you have uh, problems with your skin or and um, for me it's just sort of dryness I've never really had a problem with acne or anything so I, I couldn't comment on that but if I've got sort of uh, quite a dry skin or I've got quite tender skin at the bottom of my neck this moisturizer is, is really really lovely for using that on top of these sensitive hair products as well so sort of on the back and then if I move through to my face it's really really nice sort of smooths the skin nice and soft and makes you look really nice and refreshed in the morning if you use it last thing at night so hopefully if you can take anything away from what we've done I know sensitive scalp can jump on any of us um, at any time for a whole host of different reasons it can be stress it can be if you've got a lot on your mind if you have sort of caught your hair with perhaps the hairdryer or the straightener or if you have Use too many styling products too much hairspray or if you're just overly being stressed or even you may have a bit of a condition which you're having to have treatment under a medical professional always check with these ingredients my advice is just based on my experience if you've got a real severe problem please of course seek the assistance or the help of a medical professional first of all um, but just on my experience these two ranges have really really helped me out when I've had a really horrible sort of sensitive scalp and particularly if you wear hearing aids and you've got a cross system in like me and the nape of your neck is really really sore two great systems to use so hopefully you've enjoyed watching this clip of mine I really very much have enjoyed doing it myself and yes so until next time thank you very much for watching and we will see you then bye bye now thank you